stuff out here in my country has helped with a lot of healing and it's one of the reasons why we really like to have country back. Hi, welcome to Kuma Country, Maramara Bendy Downs. My name's Jeff, I'm a senior ranger in the Indigenous Protective Program. It's given me the opportunity to speak to you today about some of the wonderful stuff we have on the property. Our property is 87,000 hectares got back in 2000. Why we chose this area is because of the vast diversity in the ecosystems and the cultural stuff scattered through the property. Expand from Brigalow down the bottom to Spinifex country up the top to Mulga Lands, Top Mulga Hard and Clay Pan Lakes and the Nebine Creek which is a big part of our our storyline. Our property, Muramara, is based on the heart of our country, which expands from the Kalgawa floodplains down in New South Wales, across to St George, and back over to the Wittigo era, near Kalamala, and right up north. Back in the day, it was, it was said that you know our tribe was 5,000 strong warriors, and then, so it could have been 10,000 in the clan, and it's you can see that in the evidence we have around in the amount of grinding grooves, fish traps, carvings, scar trees, and all the way down to canoes down the bottom of the Kalgawa. We covered a fair chunk of country. We've got 47 kilometres of the creek frontage. We've got a lot of cultural sites that um, we're here to protect. A large portion of the property is under indigenous protected area, which covers our fish traps, up to our grinding grooves, across to our spinifex country, our lakes and other significant sites. In, in the past, there's been no access to country and a lot of storylines were broken. But with this bit of country we got back now, we're able to pass stories on. The elders have told us stories about the way things were and the way things are and the way things should be. It's a great opportunity to, to pass that knowledge on to the younger generation and try and preserve what we have left out here now. But the fish traps here were, were maintained right up until about the 40s and the 50s when we still had a lot of connection. Uncle Willie Wharton, Uncle Herb Wharton and Uncle Billy Boy, Cowboy Collis, they all worked on this country. That's uh, one of the reasons they have a strong connection to the country here. And when them fellas worked out here, they always maintained certain areas. It was something they'd done out of pride. And in the radical 60s and 70s and 80s, they weren't allowed to do any of that. You know, we were all thrown off country. Access was denied to country. None of, none of the significant sites, the wells, or anything got cleared. A lot of damage was done when coffee they'd fill in wells when they thought you know they were going to lose their country with Marbo and, and uh, land rights and whatnot. But you know now we've got a little bit of country back we're protecting them what little we have and hopefully the surrounding coffees have seen that we're not here for land grab or anything like that. We're here to protect and preserve and, and that's the role of the IPA, Indigenous Protected Area. One of our sites up here is the oldest living baker in memory. There's evidence of occupation of over 40,000 years here with just the, the size, the depth and the quantity of grooves in, in this area. We've, we've had anthropologists come out and say that that's taken more than 40,000 years to do that. It's just evidence here documenting a huge claim which we work. That 
connects to the country. It's still strong. It's always great when German people come home to connect with Sonny. Meeting Sonny for the first time and having him showing me around, telling me some of the stories he, as a child, he experienced on country. And just passing on the little bit that I've known always helps me grow, I think, as a person. It's been a big struggle because we realise we need an economic base so we can bring people back home. But, you know, the, the dream, I think, for a lot of Kermit people is to protect and preserve what we have. We have some really significant sites out here. It's one of the benefits of, of having land back is that we're able to train people, not only in what culture we have there, but to be able to go out and make a living in the world. Being back on country, I'm, I'm able to show my kids what my mother wished to be. It's great now, we'll have a country back, I can speak freely to tell the kids this is what we used to do, that is what we used to do, you were able to do this, you were able to do that, now we have access to country again. A lot of people are, are able to come back home, back to homelands and heal, back to country. Next to the country, give you an opportunity for them to 